Hey, good morning everybody. Tom Harness here with Harness Digital Marketing and today's Harness Your Hump Day. Um, still working on my first cup of coffee. I hope many of you are on your second or third, but I'm still working on my first. Uh, today, I want to talk a little bit about call centers. So growing up, I remember, you know, with the cordless, with the cordless, with the cord phone, um, answering or having to call out and you had to call in to either City Hall or you had to call into the cable, whatever it was back in the day, you would get this call center. And the call center, most back then uh, in, you know, late 70s, early 80s, uh, things weren't outsourced just yet, but they were all in America in different locations and uh, you, you knew that you had this massive center. Well, fast forward to the age of digital marketing and fast forward to uh, social media and we now have these new call centers. And I will tell you, it's one of my little, little pet peeves, but uh, I feel that if you're going to embrace social media and you're going to have a presence, that you have to take responsibility for all of the components that go with it. Now, um, that being said, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, LinkedIn, whatever it might be, there is direct messaging, which means not only are you putting content out and being social publicly, but you have this intimate option of being able to connect with businesses, organizations, someone one-on-one. -on -one. And a lot of times we like that because we feel our questions are stupid or we feel that we can't, uh, we don't feel comfortable, you know, putting something out there or we don't want to damage the business because if it's a complaint, we respect, we understand, we want to help them, but we don't want to put something out there that might be negative and we all know that when you do, then other people jump on it. So whatever the reason is, um, people want to still be able to connect with direct messaging. So uh, my first question for this week is, have you enabled uh, direct messaging? Now, this is a hard conversation. For small business owners, time is so important. So when we enable uh, that direct messaging component, we feel the obligation to be available 24-7. Stop right there. Um, there's nothing that says your call center can't still have parameters, the eight to five, whatever it might be. Um, I cut mine off and uh, I've done that for probably consistently the last couple of years. I was not good about that early on. Now, I say that because we never want to give up. Uh, we never want to give up the opportunity to get a sale or have a potential customer or client, right? But here's the deal. If we are selling a product or service that is at the level we believe that it should be and that other people respect, they will also respect our time. Um, you can bow down to the almighty consumer 24 seven forever. And what will happen is it will take away your time. It'll take away your energy. It will take away your passion for your business. So when you're thinking about enabling or not, make sure that you have boundaries and you set up parameters that you can that you can use now used to be that i felt and i would tell people it's an option if you're not going to do the messaging don't turn it on leave it off here's what i found out people younger generations want to have direct messaging access if they don't they go to someone else that will reply back to them right okay so i don't think it's an option is what i'm saying anymore for businesses on social media to turn off the uh the the messaging uh component so uh you need to make sure that you enable it and you have a plan in place that's why i put in there that you better have a plan in place for that okay um oh good morning trish how are you this morning i still need to get over there i think now that things are opening back up i need to stop having excuses and just come over uh to perryville and enjoy all the wonderful things that are going on over there uh, in fact, when I come over there, I need to go check out the memorial wall that's uh, near there. All right, question number two. When is, this is my pet peeve, when is the last time you checked it? Oh my gosh. I will search or I'll look for someone and they're on and it looks like they're active on social media, meaning they've got some recent posts and I'm like, okay, I have a question. So I'll reach out 
and two things happen. I either get the automatic messaging, the chat bot, which we'll talk about in a second, which I like, which means I know they've set it up, which means they're going to get back to me and they tell me that, or I'm completely ignored for two, three days, right? I don't expect me personally, I don't expect a person to get back with me instantly. When they do, that's great, but I at least want them to get back with me within at least 24 hours, right? 12 to 24 hours would be great. Same day is great, but it doesn't need to be instant, okay? Um, so one of the things you might want to do to, to, as a solution is maybe towards the end of the day, if you're a nine to five or an eight to five kind of business, maybe the last 30 minutes of the day, you go in and you follow up with any of the messages, right? And you're like, Hey, uh, or you let them know that you check the messages between these periods of time and that you'll get back with them as soon as they can. Just planting that seed will help. Even when you call into a call center and they'll say, um, please wait. And we don't like that. But at least we, what do we do? We wait. If we get a message saying that we'll get back with you in 12, 24 hours, or we check our messages at the end of every day at 4.30 or whatever it is, I think people will respect. And then when you do get back to them, they will uh, still consider your business. It's when customers, consumers are completely ignored, right? Um, yeah. So uh, let's see. What did Trish say here? Oh, uh, yeah, I would love to go to the wall with you, too. I feel like I haven't seen you or any of our classmates from DLI in, in so long. So it would be nice to to touch base again. And um, you are such an advocate for Perryville. I, I can't think of Perryville without you. Uh, so I, I'm very honored to, to know you and know how hard you work and your efforts are, are being um, uh, coming fruitful. Um, okay, so the last question uh, is have you automated to turn your messaging into a salesperson? Okay, for small businesses organizations, we don't always have the luxury. We are, as the owners, uh, the founders, we are everything. Sales, put fires out, do the job, whatever it might be, that is us. But the messaging system can also be utilized through chatbots, through automation, to be a salesperson for you using it as a frequently asked question kind of thing. Now you can set those up, they can be very effective, and you can generate revenue through direct messaging when you set those up. Facebook does a really good job of helping you automatically automate that. There's third-party systems that will also allow you to automate some of the things. Now, I wanna warn you, don't over-automate. You still need to have that human component. And some of them do a great job of, of making the chatbot its own character, its own brand. Uh, and those are fun. And I like those, uh, those a lot. But don't worry if you're not as creative. Um, but you do need to look at turning that on and automating that, the common messages, so that way people feel like they're being heard and they're being, uh, that you're listening to them. So um, I'm a big fan of the direct messaging. I think it is great for generating leads. Uh, and um, you can also get the opportunity to connect one-on-one -on -one with, with a client. And they can reach out to you. And if you have a good relationship, when there is a problem, they'll go there instead of on directly on social media and posting everything public. So I hope those tips uh, will help, uh, help you out. And I hope those tips will also get you to turn on and follow and update your direct messaging so you don't you know unnerve me when I come to your page and direct message you. So... Um, on to the next. So, hey, have you been checking out every Monday our Marketing Makeup Monday with Crystal Davis? Have you? Have you really been doing it? Because if you're not, you're missing out. Crystal is really coming into her own. She's embracing Marketing Makeup Monday and she's doing a fantastic job of, of giving you some ways to brand not only yourself, but using makeup and um, positive uh, feedback, positive energy to help you grow your personal brand and your business brand. So do that. Also, as always, every week, you all know that uh, Harness Digital Marketing is a veteran-owned business. We are proud to have gone through the long, tedious process to get certified. Uh, but we also are very proud and honored to partner with Withers Broadcasting and Dana Communications on the Stars and Stripes SI Facebook group page. Uh, the page is continually growing. We've got a lot of opportunities. It's positive. It's for veterans. It's for veteran businesses, organizations, events. Um, we love highlighting some of our local veterans that have gone into the military. Uh, we've got a lot of great recruiters around here. Uh, I'm partial. I love it when all the ones go into the Army. But the other branches are, eh, they're okay too. 
so please, 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 please uh, support, follow that page, and it does cover Southern Illinois. Uh, what are some upcoming events we got? Uh, the Carnival Sunset Concert Series was extended uh, through June, so we have some upcoming dates. Uh, uh, every Thursday, 6 to 8, and you can go to the page below. There might be some updates to that, uh, but I will keep you uh, notified. They have been really fun, great to be a part of. Uh, the FOB Rush GI Party, Brian Gibson over Project Die Hard, needs sponsors. Um, we've got some great events coming up through that, uh, through that location, uh, and we're going to be cleaning it up and getting it ready for veterans and veteran families that are suffering from PTSD uh, to help get them back on their feet. It's a great organization. Uh, it's one that uh, I, I'm trying to be better about supporting and getting out there. Uh, but please, 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 we're looking for volunteers to help clean up. And then there's going to be a major fundraising and event with some amazing updates. I know I keep saying amazing, but Brian's done a really good job over there of making it uh, big. So please support him and support uh, Project Die Hard. All right. Let's see if we have any other messages. Good morning, Dylan. Hope you are off to a wonderful, wonderful day as well. Uh, all right. I think on that note, we will wrap up. And uh, if your business or organization needs some assistance, um, my team, my team, our team, it's not mine, it's us. Our team here at Harness Digital Marketing is ready to help uh, turn the light bulb on for your business. And as always, please, 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 please be the reason someone smiles today. Go out in the world, make it a better place.